Alright guys, hello and welcome back to another episode and a whole new session of FTP Infinity on the Mindternity server. So this is the YouTube server that I've been playing on once again. And um, I've been doing a lot of stuff off stream, off camera, just because, you know, it is a server and I do, you know, want to hang out with the guys off of camera. You know, I'm not always going to be able to record. But uh, nothing that's really been too groundbreaking-ish, like nothing that was too much to not record. Uh, mostly what I've been doing is been, has been breeding agri-craft crops. So all of these crops now um, I've been breeding and trying to grow and make new crops and make stronger crops. Um, and they're all actually full grown right now once again. And I'll have to do another like clean sweep of all the crops and then replant all of them down once again and it's going to be a long process of mutating them and getting them to full strength and getting all the seeds that i can before um, i'll have everything that i want out of agricraft but there are a couple things that i want to do today that one does kind of involve um the farm itself and the food and all that kind of stuff uh, with pam's harvest craft and uh, also another thing I want to do, which is also kind of agricultural in a sense, is make a planter and a harvester so I can get a tree farm going. Um, so that's the route that I'm going to be taking uh, as far as automation. I'm going to be using the industrial craft, I believe it is, the industrial craft planter and uh, yeah, no, mine factory loaded, that's what it was. The MFR uh, planter and harvester. And conveniently, I have all of the materials that I'm going to need to make those two machines right here. Uh, one little thing that I don't know how I'm going to do is how I'm going to power them. Uh, I might just take the culinary generator from downstairs and power it with all the food that we have because I have like chests and chests full of just like food and agricultural stuff, you know, potatoes and stuff like that. So I should be able to power it with the culinary generator just temporarily. Uh, until I can figure out how to hook up the water wheel to like a power s storage and then route that power storage out of the uh, basement and into power outside of the basement. Um, so the first thing that I wanted to do is make the planter and harvester. So let's go ahead and do that. So for the planter, let's make that first. We're going to need a flower pot. So let's make one of those. So here's our flower pot and we'll just get it all assembled right here. And then I think we need two, yeah, two plastic sheets. So we need, that'll make four for us. So there's one, two. Okay. Then we need a machine frame. So that's a tin gear, four glass and four iron. So there's four iron there, four glass and a tin gear. And we have our machine frame in the middle, which is a lot easier than expert mode, by the way. Remember, this server is on normal mode for FTB uh, Infinity. So it's things are a lot easier. I'm just going to go out and say that right there. It's a lot easier. Um, I get to have a lot more uh, exploration, I feel, with this um, with normal mode on the server, just because it's a little easier to navigate and keep pushing through. Okay, so let's make a couple of pistons now. That was the next piece, which go on either side, right? Yeah, then we need two copper gears on the bottom and a redstone reception coil, which I can make like that. Let's put it all into the tinker table, which is just a crafting table, not to confuse you with that. There we go, let's get the two copper gears. And we have a planter. So there's our first machine that we need. Now we just need to make a harvester, which I'm pretty sure I have all the parts for. But let me just make sure. So I need two more plastic sheets. I need a sh pair of shears. So shears go there, plastic sheets go here. We need two invar axes, which I conveniently have six invar. I'm gonna try harder to like be prepared to make things if I know I wanna make something instead of like spending a whole session just trying to uh, collect the materials. So then we need two gold gears on the bottom. 
We need a machine frame in the middle, so we need to make another one of those. So four glass, four iron, and a tin gear right in the middle. And then we need, a re we need another redstone reception coil. All right, and that'll be all the pieces. So let's go ahead and put all this together. Invar X, Invar X, machine frame, two gold gears, and a redstone reception coil. And there we have it, the harvester and the planter. So let's get these uh, placed down and see what we need to do to use them, basically. Because I'm not really sure. I'm not too familiar with the interface of the Mine Factory Reloading Machine, so we'll figure it out right now. Okay, so I also want to get some saplings probably would be a good idea. I'm going to start with birch saplings just because I feel like that might be a little bit easier. Uh, like I said, I'm not too familiar with how these things work. I think I'm going to put it over here where it's more open. Uh, I think it's only a 3x3 three three area that it starts with. So I need to map out a 3x3 three three area. Let me pick up these eggs real quick. And someone also, I don't think you guys ever saw this animal farm, but I had sheep right here and they're gone. So I don't know if someone on the server killed my sheep. Maybe it was after beer stand. Who knows? I don't think it was after beer stand. I think they just might have despawned. But I also had three other cows too, and now I'm left with one. So they actually might have suffocated themselves in the wall because they're not that bright, but who knows? Uh, my sheep are gone. I'll have to get some more. I'll probably make some uh, some safari nets and try to get some more of those sheepy doos and some cows. Okay, so the planter's going to go down first. Let's go ahead and put that there. I'm guessing that it will just plant in front of itself possibly so if i put this uh what color we want it um here right what the heck is this i don't know what that is consume stack on okay so then if i do a one two three by three and then if i put this right here then it should harvest everything in this three by three as far as uh, saplings go anyway. So now I just need to power it. Let's go down and get the culinary generator, hook it up to these machines and see if they work the way that I think they should. And if they don't, then I'll have to look into uh, how they actually work. Because I do want to get them working right now. So I can start having a constant supply of wood. I won't have to worry about just like going out and chopping down trees for a long time. Um, it'll be one less tedious thing to check off my list. Let's uh, go ahead and sleep though first, because it is going nighttime, so I want to sleep. And let me turn, where's the music at? Where'd that music be? Let's go ahead and turn the music back on. I'm not streaming, I can use some music to my ears. All right, wiki wiki rise and shine. So let's go back down and grab our culinary generator. Oopsie, there we go. Gotta go downstairs. So I'm pretty sure you guys have seen everything downstairs already. You guys have seen the water wheel. You guys have seen the charge pad for the industrial craft machines, uh, metal former, all this good junk down here. So let's grab, I think the skeletons are above me. Let's grab the culinary generator and we'll grab these, um, connectors i think i think i have more connectors upstairs maybe i hope so because one or two of them is not going to cut it. I need three total connectors and two cables so let's look into here hmm. Hmm. yeah so there's some more connectors and some more cables so we'll take those down and try to hook up oh we need some food too though to power it so let's grab some Potatoes should do it. And we'll throw the potatoes into the culinary generator to try to get things rocking. I can hear these chickens popping out eggs. It's a good thing. The whole reason that I got this animal farm started is because I want to be able to make a lot of Pam's Harvest Craft food. And I'll show you guys what I'm going to be doing uh, in this session with that. So let's go ahead and hook up the culinary generator on the outside of that 3x3. So like right here right here 
and then we'll put one connector here. We'll put one on top here, um, one on the side maybe. Maybe I should move this. Let's go ahead and take that off. Put that there, connect there, connect there. And put potatoes in. So now this is not working. Same sec. Hmm. So I don't know what that is. Let me see if I can find out what that little tool thing is in the, uh, the square there. Because I might need that in order to get this working. Oh, it's, it's not industrial craft. Why do I keep looking at that? Mine factory. These. Oh, they're upgrades. Yes, I don't need upgrades. Hmm. This is working. The harvester is working. It's using a lot of power. Okay, so I'm going to have to look into this real quick and see how to get this tree farm working the way it should be. Hang tight. Okay, so I need to try a new configuration here. Let's take these connectors back off. And I need to break this. Okay, good, I didn't just completely destroy it. That's a good thing. And then let me go underneath right here. I'm afraid that's gonna like try to kill me. Let's put the planter here, right? And then we need to access it still. So let's uh, make a little tunnel. Okay, so if I put these in there, oh, there we go. Okay, but I still need to be able to power it. That's gonna be a little bit, bit of an issue because I need to power both. Let's move this over here. See if I can do this. Okay, I'm gonna put the culinary generator right here. This is a lot more difficult than it has to be, but I'm, I'm trying to do it just so I can get like a starter setup going. Let's so put that there. Put this one over here. We'll put one down here. Okay, will this hook up there? It will. Okay. Then will this hook up over there? Perfect. All right. We like barely managed to get it to work. Okay. So as soon as these grow, as soon as these saplings grow, then they'll be um, harvested by that harvester. I wonder if using a fertilizer for mine factory, I wonder if that would speed up trees. I assume it would. Mine factory loaded fertilizer, fertilizer. So it's wheat, bone meal, sticks, and sulfur, which is an extractor on gunpowder. Hmm. So maybe I should look into making one of these a fertilizer because that'll grow the trees faster. That might not be a bad idea. So when this harvests, it's going to deposit it right out the back here. So I actually have some ch chests in my golden bag of holding. Pretend like you didn't see any of that. If I put this right here, it should just dump it 
any um, trees right into here. Let's go get some bone meal and make sure that that's the case. Because I don't want to just leave it running and have it be spewing out <laughs> wood without me getting it in a chest or anything. My inventory. But yeah, the fertilizer might be the next step as far as that little system goes. 